So what is going on guys, this is Ace here, and today welcome back to another video. This time we are doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking a little bit about Infinity War and what some things that may have been left out uh, that we wanted to talk about specifically. And that is the ending where uh, Adam Warlock was noticeably absent, I think that's what you said. So we're talking about the Avengers, the um, lead up to Thanos' uh, big arrival and all the major Marvel superheroes. If you do not want to have any more spoilers, do not continue watching this video. Yeah. So, what did I you think of the ending? I think it was really interesting, but also somewhat disappointing for the fact that you're literally letting the villain win, which is something that you wouldn't really see occurring in movies like this. But I think it it was it is interesting to talk about because like it does make you think like what else are they gonna set up with this like who else are they gonna introduce because you never know if uh, we may have because uh... the thing is uh, we were uh, talking about this a little bit ago but we found out that uh, there was a little bit of Easter eggs in the actual film where we think that Adam Warlock was actually there the entire time instead of other supposed characters. In Guardians of the Galaxy, it's the second part. It was the <laughs> only mention of Adam in the post-credits, as we always are accustomed. But I don't know if you've seen, when you went to see the Avengers Infinity War, you had to actually wait through almost like 20 minutes before you see the Nick Fury <coughs> um, disappearance, which is uh, surprising. And also, he sends out on a message, and there's a little symbol, which looks like it was the Captain Marvel. Yeah, very but, much so. But I read comic books when I was a kid, and noticeably a lot of people have said Thanos um, was supposed to clash with Warlock, and he's nowhere to be seen yet. So he does have the Infinity gauntlet completed all six infinity stones yeah one thing uh another detail to point out that was really interesting was the fact that when he actually had all six of the stones it was uh important to point out how he was actually bearing wounds if you notice in the last scene he's kind of limping um and when he sits down to enjoy the sunset like half of his body looks like it was Severely, yeah, maybe. I don't know, time. unless it was like battle damage from earlier, With or Thor, yeah, because he had the new, <laughs> the axe, yeah. We don't know yet, guys, but we think it's a really interesting aspect to talk about. And again, back to the whole Adam Warlock thing, we think that he may have been there the entire time, because like at again at one point you see Doctor Strange just uh, like just show up with a bunch of clones. And, himself. Yeah. And what's another spoiler? I think after he gets the soul gem, when he pushes her off the cliff and... Is it Bormir? Uh, no. Where he's actually summoned by, I think, the spirit-like of Red Skull. I think it's what his name was. Or maybe... He pushed off his daughter, Thanos. Yeah, and in exchange for <laughs> the soul gem... So what's weird is that after he gets the final Infinity Stone from Vision, when he restores him, the moment he gets destroyed, uh, he is kind of like looped into some sort of a dimension that the gemstone takes him. And we see that um, remark that he says that it cost him everything. So, but I think a lot of people were, you know, shocked when you see the characters disintegrate into ash which is the one that you think got you the most i think the scene that got me the most is just like the fact that he just literally he gets to have his victory except for we don't really know if he does have his victory i think one of the most impactful <laughs> ones was the disappearance of spider-man when he's hugging oh yeah that that was a good one um I think that got a lot of people. I think it did too, to be honest. But anyway, um, please don't forget to like, drop your comments, share this video, and let us know what uh, 
uh, resonated with you about the Avengers Infinity War movie. Yeah, definitely. We hope, we of course hope you did enjoy, and we will of course see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.